a song that talks about the need for change in Cuba. It's an anti-communist message sung by well-known Cuban musicians in Miami and Havana. It talks about the failures of the government and the hardships faced by the people of the Caribbean island for the past 62 years. The song is called Homeland and Life. It changes the old slogan of Patria Muerte, or Homeland and Death. A symbol of Fidel Castro's 1957 leftist revolution. People in Havana are listening. For us, Patria Muerte has always had a very clear message. Our ancestors fought for our independence and it's always been a slogan that has characterized and represented us. Patria Vida also represents me because it speaks of the reality that Cubans, ordinary Cubans, are going through. Political tension has been on the rise in Cuba after a rapper from the San Isidro movement, an opposition group, was detained for insulting a police officer. Since then, artists from around the country have started to demand political reforms. Luis Manuel is part of the San Isidro movement and thankful for the support. If those huge artists were able to connect and chant for the people and tell us people here we can also get together and fight, it's known that a song can touch the deeper sensibility of a beast. We are so thankful. They are people who come from Cuba's reality and the fact that they put their talent and fame to help people here shows we can unite. The island's economy has deteriorated in the past year and a lack of tourists because of COVID-19 has forced the government to devaluate the currency for the first time since it came to power in 1959. The government blames crippling U.S. sanctions for the economic slump, but it's even gone on national television to attack the song Homeland and Life, accusing the artists of being envoys of the CIA. They are feeling that they are weak. They are feeling that they are not receiving the support that they always build around their gestion, their actions, you know. The government, the Cuban government has always said that they are supported by the majority of the people. But when you hear many people singing a song, a song with a political message opposite to the government, right now, we have been more than 30 years under the same situations. That idea doesn't exist anymore. Fidel doesn't exist anymore. We don't have a leader. We don't have an idea. The people are living in the same situations. And like you said, they cannot go out. They don't have the same conditions. Conditions that for now the government has been unable to improve. So when artists express themselves politically, that can motivate other Cubans who until now have not dared speak up. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, 24-7.